Arashtot portfolio is a 3D portfolio builder based on WebGL technology that uses Babylon JS framework to create interactive 3D portfolios that are rendered through the web browser. This application is ready for Joomla as a package, but in the future we will be creating a WordPress version of it as a plugin. All these information that you're seeing on the screen on the pages are inserted dynamically via the Joomla administrator panel and it's fully customizable. And in this video, we'll be seeing how we can download, install, activate, and create portfolios with this application. The product is currently available to purchase on a store at market.arashtot.com, but please note that for having a permanent access to download link to the future updates and the license key, you need to have a profile on Arashtot Network. The way that you can create a profile is so easy. Go to i.arashtot.com and create a free account. And by logging into your account, you'll be logged into all the websites of the network automatically. And also you have an option to use your Gmail to create or uh, log into your account. And this is a good option that gives you access very quickly. But please note that after creating the account, an email will be sent to you. And if you didn't find the email in your inbox, please go to a spam and unspam it and click on the verify link to verify your Arashtad account. After that, you're absolutely good to go to purchase the product and go ahead. But in this example, I just put the product in my shopping cart and go ahead to the checkout straight and don't log into it. As you see, I'm prompted with two suggestions I can create or log in during the checkout. I just used my Gmail to log in and as you see, I'm here navigating to the next step of the purchase. If you have a coupon, you can enter it here and click on apply coupon to decrease the price accordingly. And after that, you have option to pay with either cryptocurrency or PayPal. After completing the checkout, you'll be redirected to a page like this, where you can navigate to your profile and download the product here. Okay, back to the store here. Since I'm logged in now, I have access to download link and the license keys and all those stuff. So I click on the download and download the product first. These are two purchases that I made and I want to download one of them. And this is a small file, just less than six megabytes and it will be downloaded so quickly. Now that I have the file on my machine, I go to the license keys. And here we have two licenses. I don't have any activation for this and to activate this license we click on the view button next to it and go to the next page on this form you put the exact url of your joomla installation here for example if it's example.com you type http or https example.com if it's in a subdirectory like Joomla, you write example.com slash Joomla. And also, if you're using a subdomain, you mention it here. For now, we are using it for test.arashtot.com slash Joomla. That is the root directory of our Joomla installation. And then click activate. After activation, a secret key will be generated. And we need both of these the license key and the secret key to activate the license of the product. You can always access this license key from here. And then clicking on the view button next to the license that you want. So here we have the license information and we're good to go to install the product on our Joomla. Now I'm logged into the Joomla and as you see the address is exactly the one that I gave it while activating the license test.arashta.com slash Joomla just like here. So I'm now going to system and under install I click on extensions and here I'm ready to install the product. 
Installing Joomla extensions and templates is as easy as dragging and dropping them into this canvas and it will be installed automatically. After installing the product, you'll be redirected to a page that asks you for the secret key and the license key. So here we go back to our profile on Arashdod and copy paste these just like this. Also, you have access to video tutorials, documentation in our support center if you had any question. So when you put your license key and secret key here, you click on save and close. And during this, uh, the product will contact the API server and verify your license and then redirects you to this form that is always accessible on components portfolio and then portfolios all of the portfolios that we'll be creating will be listed here now before everything else we need to create two menus one as the main menu of the portfolio and the other one for the social links these are two joomla native menus that we create on our joomla system and to do that we go to menus manage and create these two menus i've already created these two for the sake of time because it's very easy to do you just click on the new button and put your information here and click on save and the menu is created after creating the menus we're good to go to add some items to them the items that we create for social links will appear here and these icons are actually font awesome icons that you can always check on fontawesome.com slash v4 slash icons all the icons you see here can be used to show on the sidebar menu and here we have a section called brand icons where you can find a lot of social icons pretty much everything that you may need and for example to find one of them you go here and search for it for example github and you will see all the options that you can use clicking on one of them will redirect you to this page where you can copy the whole class that you need to put in the menu link fa for font awesome and fa github is the class of this specific menu item this specific uh, icon and by going here and creating new menu items we can put this class here to show the icon on that specific menu item and the way we can do that is clicking on the menu that we want to add items to and then this new button as you see i have added some items to this menu already let's take a look at one of them this is the name this is a url friendly name as alias and here we can select system links and then url and give it a url to our social profile on the link field and here in the target window we can decide whether we want the link to be opened in the same window or a new window link type is another tab that we have a field called link icon class here where we can paste the class of that font awesome icon that we want to show over here after setting the fields we can save and close and that's it the menu item will be added to the menu as you remember the other menu that we created was the portfolio main menu that the items for it will appear here we don't need to create the home menu because it's created by the portfolio itself but there's rest of the items we need to create them so we go to portfolio menus and here we need to create some links to some articles or to a contact that we have created I've already created some content on content articles and these are some sample articles with some sample data in, in them and also I went to components contacts and contacts and created a simple contact it's just a native Joomla contact form that I filled and created a contact and now I go to menus portfolio main menu and create links to those articles and the contact by clicking on the new button 
and selecting the type articles single article and here I choose the articles one by one and here let's call it about and this easy an item will be added to the menu I do the same for the rest of articles and the contact single article select works name it done again new select articles single article select resume name it done and the other one is a contact so this time I select contacts single contact and select the contact that I created and name it and this one is done as well but before going ahead we have something to take care of the contact forms in arash.portfolio are loaded via an iframe so we need to choose a template that matches this style of portfolio and that's the arash.blank template that we have created to match the style with the rest of the website so for the contact form only that is using an iframe we choose the arash.blank template here and then save again now we have everything to create the portfolio so we go to components arash.portfolio and create our first portfolio by clicking on the new button here we have a small form to fill to create the whole portfolio I just filled the form with some sample information to speed up the process but let's take a look at the options and the fields that we already have name is just for a specification at the back end site name will show up at the bottom of the page beside this copyright note first name last name and logo are the objects that will appear at the top of the page here and if you choose the logo to rotate it will use a css transform animation to rotate your logo just like this the other option that we have is the environment that is actually a, an hdr background image that wraps around the canvas and stars and satellites are the other options that we can add to the scene to beautify it but please note that these insert extra objects to the scene and using a lot of them may slow down the front and so be careful about these too the menu is the main menu that we created we can select it from here and the social menu is the other menu that we created for our social links with a settings like this we can create a new portfolio by clicking on the save and close and now we have a portfolio to show on the front end to display this portfolio on the front end we can go to menus main menu or any other menu that we want to show this item to and then click on the new and from here select arashot portfolio and then single portfolio and from here a drop down we can choose the portfolio that we want if we, if we have more than one and don't forget to select arash.blank template since this makes the portfolio full page without any extra unwanted option then name the portfolio whatever you want and click save now we have a menu item that outputs our portfolio if i go to the front end we see the menu item and by clicking it we will we'll be redirecting to the portfolio in joomla if we want to make a menu item as default page home page we just need to click on this white icon beside the menu item and make it default just by clicking on it it will be the home page of the joomla website and this is the way that you can make your home page your portfolio page well that's pretty much it there's uh, one more thing to talk about and that's when you go to the official demo page and click on works for example the data are loaded in a specific style we are using a grid system here we have some card styles here and when you click on a sample work it 
opens a pop-up that loads the data associated with that sample work and that's because we have implemented another product of Arashdot into this portfolio and that's the sci-fi UI elements pack if you go to our demo website at demo.arashdot.com and choose the frameworks category you will see a sci-fi element pack that is a UI pack just like bootstrap, semantic UI and others but with a specific style for different objects, lists, boxes and buttons and other things and we have implemented this UI into Arashdot portfolio for helping it cover more styles and more needs as I said in the explainer video, we have a documentation server that has a documentation for this Arashdot portfolio. And in this documentation, you can find a sample code for this part that you can use just by copying and pasting it. It's here. You can copy and paste this code, this HTML code here, into your article. You can copy it and go to content articles and in this case works and put it just like just like this here toggle editor and since it's a html code you toggle the, the editor to use the raw html code and here these are the specific information about each sample work uh, it doesn't need a lot of description actually because the codes and the classes are uh, very descriptive already and you just need to implement this data modify this data to match your sample works page so this is the code on the documentation page this is the demo on our demo server and you can always see the output on the official demo website now let's take a look at the update process just like any other Joomla extension you go to system and make sure that the servers are detected by clicking on the update sites we have a server for updating the component called Arashdot portfolio and another update server called Arashdot update manager and it's responsible to update the plugin that is created to get the update files for the paid version of our product so when these are to detected if they are not detected you can click on rebuild to check the servers again and then you're good to go to system and underneath update you go to extension and check for updates just like this if a new update is released for our products or any other extension you will see them here and you can easily check them and click on updates and this easy you can get updates for your products now we talked about everything and the last step is talking about uninstalling the plugin if for any reason you manage to uninstall the package you can go to system again and under manage box you can click on extensions and here you can search for Arashdot and you will see these four extensions here to uninstall them completely you can first check the package and from actions choose uninstall and then click yes to uninstall the package it will uninstall the package and component only the reason why we excluded the Arashdot blank template and update manager is that these two product may be used with other product of ours and if you uninstall them maybe it breaks some functionality for the other products of Arashdot that you may have installed on your Joomla so we exclude that from the uninstalling the package and if you want to get rid of them you can check them and click uninstall again and press yes to remove these two as well this was the whole process of working with this product from beginning to the end and I hope it was useful for you and wish you the best and I hope this product leverage your career and help you get better jobs in less time. 
all the information and links you may need to follow up with this instruction are in the description of the video. Don't hesitate to reach us, ask your questions, leave us comments and uh, provide your suggestions because as always we're happy to respond. Thanks for watching and until the next one, I bid you farewell.